All right, folks, this is just a tutorial on how to download R and R Studio for a Windows 10 computer. So the first thing we're going to do is install R. R is the actual internal program that's going to be running all your statistical analyses. Our Studio is just a little thing we call the GUI to kind of help us so that we can manage our data better. It looks a little bit nicer. But the first thing we need to do is install R. And in order to install R, we go to r-project. Org. You go here, it looks like this, the R project for statistical computing. And the first thing you do, you can read through this if you like, but we're just going to go straight to download R. So there's a hyperlink right here. Going to click download R. And what we're going to do is look, we're going to choose something called a mirror. I like to choose the mirror that's the closest to us. So I find one of them in the United States. And you can really choose any of these. It doesn't really matter too much, but I'll just go ahead and use, uh, let's go ahead and use Duke University. And then we indicate through here that we want to download R for Windows. Go ahead and click that. And we'll be installing R for the first time. I'm just gonna go ahead and just rewrite over mine. You may or may not have it already, but it's a good thing just to do it so you have the most updated version. Right now, the most current version of R is R 4.0.2. So go ahead and click that. And it's going to go ahead and download here to the bottom left if you're using Chrome, wherever your download manager is. And it looks like it's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and just click on that. Let it load up. And it's going to go and just ask us if we want to download or click yes on the window that appears. Move it a little bit. And yes, we want our language to be English. This is just the terms and agreements. Generally, we don't read them. Read them if you'd like. Um, go ahead and just accept the defaults. It's going to be downloading to the C program files path. Click next. It's telling me that it already exists. Would you like to do it anyways? Yes, you likely won't get this message. Go ahead and accept all these. You're going to download 32 bit and the 64 bit file. Um, go ahead and accept the defaults. You can choose to create a desktop shortcut or a quick launch icon if you want. I personally am not going to, but we'll go ahead and just click next. And it looks like it's going to go ahead and download. This goes pretty quick actually. depending on you know how your computer uh, runs will determine how long it takes but usually isn't too long Okay, and it looks like we installed R, and we can go ahead and check it uh, by going to our kind of home menu, scrolling down to the letter R, as you can see. Um, I have a lot of different versions of R downloaded, but our most recent version was R64. Uh, you want to use the 64-bit 4.0.2. Go ahead and just click on it, and it'll go ahead and say R version 4.0.2, and taking off again. If you got to this part, then it looks like you probably did it successfully. So we went ahead and we downloaded R. So just so you know, this is just the base program that we'll be using, but we're going to be using a little wraparound that's going to look a little bit nicer than what this is. Uh, so you can go ahead and exit out. So I'm not going to save the workplace image. Uh, we're done with going through our project. Now we're going to go back to our browser link and just type in rstudio.com. Go ahead and click that. Nice and simple. Takes you to a nice web page. And we're going to go ahead and just look around and we're going to look for this download. So go ahead and click download. You'll scroll down. You'll notice there's some very expensive versions. You're going to be downloading the R Studio desktop for free. You just go ahead and click download. And then you find what version of Windows you're running. The will be running with Windows 10, 8, and 7 here. And just download the file here. It says download RStudio for Windows. 
and it looks like it's already downloading here so we didn't even have to click on this it's already downloading for us but if you needed to click on it make sure you do it runs very quickly all right looks like it's ready to go go ahead and click on that and again it's going to ask the pop-up if we want to allow change our device you click yes give it a little bit of time while it just takes the time to load all right here we go all right and we're going to just run through the setup wizard again so you go ahead and click next Yep, just let it download to the correct file path. Next. And then go ahead and click uh, install. You can choose to create a shortcut if you like. I'm not going to create the shortcut. Click install. And looks like it's downloading for us. And we just go ahead and wait for this. Again, this isn't a very long download. Should work out pretty well for us. There we go, making some progress. All right, we're gone on and fish, finished here. Um, so you go ahead and you just click finish. And what you'll be doing, um, I have it already loaded up here in my taskbar. You may have created a shortcut for it so that it'll appear on your desktop. If not, it'll appear on your Windows button. You scroll down to go to R, and we saw our original R, and we see R Studio. And you just go ahead and click R Studio. And we're going to load it up and make sure that we have the correct version running. So there we go. Um, you can go ahead and click yes to this, allowing it to do that or no, whatever you choose. But it looks like we successfully installed RStudio. As we can see, we have our RStudio console here, and it says R version 4.0.2, which is exactly the version that we wanted to work with, called Taking Off Again. And if you got to this point, then it means that you successfully installed RStudio onto your desktop. And uh, congratulations, you're on your first steps to um, working in R. Thank you.